Evertune, Escher Reality, Matrix Mill, and Seismic Games. These are all the new acquisitions Niantic has made over the past year to help improve the Niantic real-world platform. Let's close out Acquisition Week by seeing how they all fall into place and what they can provide in the overall picture for Harry Potter Wizards Unite. But first, I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. We have Pegamax, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, Azawara, and an unknown subscriber. So I'm not able to see what your name is, but welcome to all of you to this wonderful Harry Potter Wizards Unite community. The Niantic Real World Platform is an operating system that can bridge the digital and physical worlds. With each new acquisition, Niantic is pushing the boundaries of geospatial technology and creating a complementary interactive real world layer that consistently brings an engaging experience to users. Niantic has three major criteria for the Niantic Real World Platform. They want to model reality, they want to understand reality, and they want to share reality. The Niantic Real World Platform is focusing on how modeling reality should be looking at people and their surroundings such as parks and sidewalks rather than roads and cars and then the human interaction after that. The technology needs to identify very small and minute details to place them in an interactive space that a computer can easily read. Part of the challenge is that is the power necessary to adjust the model as the environment on your phone changes as you move through the real world. The volley video I showed you from Escher Reality really shows how it's possible to make better interactions with the real world happen. The Matrix Mill team has a huge responsibility to help fill the void to improve their understanding of reality criteria. Advancing AR means taking a look at everything involved in the world, how it looks, how it interacts, and how it reacts to objects moving through space. This means finding and identifying each object and putting them in context with a broader space. So separating a chair or a car from everything else that a camera can see. This is where Matrix Mill really comes in to develop techniques to better understanding 3D space in order to enable much more realistic AR interactions than what is currently possible. So let's take another look at Codename Niantic Occlusion and see what they've accomplished so far with how well the Pokemon sense the people in the real world objects surrounding them. Each of the acquisitions Niantic has made over the past year really fall in line with their third goal of sharing reality. Evertune connects people, Matrix Mill and Escher Reality make the interactions more realistic through the AR world as well as each other, and Seismic Games will help push the story through to everyone through our phones. Niantic is very focused on creating a visually compelling shared experience, and the timing of this has to be completely perfect to making it look realistic. Together with these acquisitions, Niantic has developed proprietary low latency AR networking techniques. And with this, they're able to create, well, take a look at some of these videos. So the first one is gonna be Codename Neon. Go ahead and take a look at Codename Neon. This is exactly what I pictured when I thought of wizarding duels in an AR setting. So this is, Everything from all of the acquisitions they've had coming together and creating this into something what we'll see in Wizards Unite. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second video that they came up with, Codename Tonehenge. Now this is exactly what I pictured when I thought of an AR version of Wizard's Chess. You can see the other people turn into different parts of the puzzle in the AR world, so through your camera. So if you're looking outside your phone, they're people, but if you look in your phone, they turn into different chess pieces or puzzle pieces. But these are just the first look of all of these new technologies that Niantic has acquired for what can be possible for AR in the future, especially with Harry Potter Wizards Unite. 
I think you can consider this to be kind of a first look into Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So even though we haven't gotten an official trailer, we are getting some solid hints about what its potential can possibly be. Thank you so much for tuning into my Niantic Acquisition Week. It did take a lot of work to kind of dig up all of this information and put it into a good context for you. So go ahead and leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But I just want to sign off by saying go check out this fan-made trailer that Mark over at Zeoman Plays Porky Games put together who implemented some of the videos that Niantic has released for these new acquisitions as well as some of the Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald trailer clips. It's really pretty cool and something that we may see in this Harry Potter Wizards Unite, and at least until we get something real from them. But go ahead and check it out, and I hope you have a magical day. The old ways serve us no longer. It has to be you. In your shoes, I'd probably refuse to. Ridiculous.